you'll hear me refer now and then to the soffit. And just so you know what a soffit is, this piece of wood, this here, this whole length of wood, that's the soffit. And in some houses it's very big, this one's fairly big, in other houses it's, it's quite small. And this will open directly into the attic. In some houses, the ventilation for the attic is through vents right here in the soffit, called soffit vents. Soffit ventilation is one form of ventilation. You might have roof vents where there's a hole right here. You might have a ridge vent where there's a hole right along the top ridge of the house. And you might have gable vents like this house does. At either end, at the gable end walls, which are those triangular pieces, triangular walls at the top, you can see there's that vent. What you aim for in most of the country is one square foot of net free air, it's called. One square foot of net free air per 300 square foot of attic space. That was calculated as the optimal amount of ventilation to keep moisture down, to keep to allow the heat to move out of your attic. It's mostly about moisture control, really, because in the middle of the summer, it's gonna get hot in here no matter how much ventilation you have. Anytime you go to the store to buy a vent, it will refer to it in terms of its net free air. In other words, a vent that's say one square foot wide is not one square foot net free air. It depends on the material, how, many, how much actual space there is for the air to move. Thank <music> you.